Good day and welcome everyone to our news today. Tuesday, Sarkit take part in various outdoor activities and a boat trip, while Camilla joined Prince Charles in Aberdeen. However, the Duchess of Cambridge sent royal fans into a frenzy with a breathtaking picture from the Lake District, while Camilla's royal outing went under the radar. On September 21, Kate was in the Lake District, where she took part in various outdoor activities. Photos showed the royal abseil, a cathedral quarry in Little Langdell, Cumbria, with a group of air cadets. During the visit, she took a boat trip with two of the Windermere children, a group of 300 child Holocaust survivors who came to stay in the Lake District in 1945. The children stayed for a period of recuperation following what they experienced in concentration camps and ghettos of Nazi-occupied Europe at Ray Castle. Meanwhile, Camilla and Charles visited the redeveloped Aberdeen Art Gallery in School Hill. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge took on a central role in the royal family throughout the coronavirus pandemic. Prince William and Kate are now among the most popular members of the royal family, with Yougov placing them as second and third most popular members of the firm, respectively, behind only Queen Elizabeth II. In contrast, Charles was the seventh most popular monarch, with Camilla in a tenth. Yougov surveyed 1667 from August 27 and 29 and found 64% thought highly of Kate compared to 36% for Camilla. After a 2017 poll found Britain would prefer Kate and William to become the next monarchs, Camilla was said to be enraged at the prospect of her husband, who is the heir to the throne, giving up his birthright. A royal sword claimed to Women's Day in 2017, Camilla has told to man up and fight. She is filming and has told him it was his destiny to be on the throne. Camilla is livid that William could potentially take the throne and she is pointing the finger of blame firmly on, on poor Kate. She always leans on her for advice. It's believed Kate was the one to teach the queen how to use Zoom and that's been lovely so she can see her great-grandkids and stay connected. Kate and the Queen have a fantastic relationship. Kate tries that balance between bowing to her as head of the royal family in public, but being able to check in with her as the great-grandmother to her children. And that brings us to the end of the news today. Hope you enjoy it. Please, Click the like and subscribe to our news channel for more. Thanks for listening and stay safe everyone. Have a nice day.